From KEPR TV, Umatia County politician speaks out after police say he wrote racist letter to himself. The former Umatia County commissioner candidate that reportedly admitted to police he sent himself a racist letter after claiming he received it is speaking out. In an interview with Action News, Jonathan Lopez says he regrets writing the letter and is very sorry. As he said, I do apologize for what I did. I do understand and accept that it was incorrect or wrong. By no means or way did I want to gain the election. Uh, kind of a weird quote. There was only a few weeks ago when he shared the hate-filled letter on his public Facebook page claiming he received it in his mailbox. Lopez has since removed the Facebook page after investigating the incident. Hermiston police say Lopez confessed to writing the racist letter and filing a false report. When asked why he wrote the letter, this is what Lopez had to say. I could say many reasons, and of course, everybody's opinions could be different, but I have no excuse for it. But I can just express how I was feeling and what's been going on through my mind, and I'm not asking that that justifies what I did. I've just been having a hard time since February. That's it. I, I, I've been having a hard time. So I did this really just totally fraudulent, disgusting, deceptive political thing that was essentially a lie and uh, waste of police resources. Uh, while Lopez admits the letter came from a painful place, he doesn't think his letter stunts discredits future racist actions. It cannot be used as something to discredit any other possible form or way or act of racial issues. Reason being law enforcement, their job is to secure and protect everyone. If they start thinking because of one bad apple, in this case, one bad situation, the rest are bad, then they are not going to do their job properly or correct. And you know that's not what they are here for. Police say Lopez could be charged with a misdemeanor for the incident. And I'm shocked and disappointed that he hasn't already been. But why not? Why? Why, why would the police not? And, and you go, well, why do the police not go after people for filing false reports? And why is that a low? Pro well, if you file a false police report, that gives them something to do to justify their budgets, to investigate and subpoena or uh, to, to, you know, to, to question suspects and, and to justify their budgets. Right. So they can spend more money. Than so but, but if they went after people. Seriously, this is this is really important to consider. It's just understanding police in America. If if the police went after everyone who they suspected filed a false report, and by the way, I have had false reports filed on me. This happened uh, to us in Albuquerque with with the bus No Force One when we were repairing it on the side of the road. Someone called the police on us saying that we were uh, doing something illegal and 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 made a false report. Actually, lied to the police, and I then filed. A report to the police or tried to and said, hey, can you please investigate? Someone is someone called in a false report on me. It's like swatting, right? The term SWAT, like for swatting, when you call in a SWAT raid on someone. Uh, this came out of the gamer community. People disagreeing in online virtual games, doxing people, finding their home addresses, calling in uh, a criminal reports so that they would get their doors knocked down buy SWAT raids in the middle of the night and maybe even get shot or have innocent people hurt or killed. And because and, and, that's what or dab, they're, they're dog shot by police. I mean, that's really what you're setting people up for. And the police have no problem with this. They want this to continue. So no, they're not they're a, a politician with a false report. No, there's no motivation for them to go after this guy unless there's some public pressure. And I hope there is. I hope they do go after this guy and, and that we stop seeing this abuse of the police by citizens weaponizing it against each other, uh, as is so often the case, or in the case of, uh, you know, Umatia, Umatia, Umatia County politician in, in Oregon, um, Jonathan Lopez, using the police, I mean, he didn't just post the letter and say, he filed a report. He used the police to give credibility to his false flag attack on himself. And, I wonder, you know, how many more? This is one of those things. 
where you go, things are not as they seem. How far are they from what they seem? We might never know. And that damage to the credibility of the system, I hope only accelerates its demise. As I said,